Hello Dutch traders, you are watching weekly stock market review on InstaForex TV channel with me, Tahmina Salomova. The US stock market closed high last Friday. The indices reached new highs, continuing the so-called Trump's rally. The president's promises to cut taxes contributed to a steady rise in stocks on Wall Street. The final sector posted better results than other industries. The Nasdaq Composite Index grew to 5,838.58 points at the close of the New York Mercantile Exchange. For the week, the Nasdaq aided 1.8 percent, as well as the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index that reached the level of 20,624.5 on Friday, making the new record high. Speaking about the companies of the index, 26 of 30 companies performed well last week. Shares of the Cisco Systems registered the biggest gains, surging by 6.67%. On the other hand, the Verizon Communications showed the worst weekly results. Its shares lost 0.72%. The S&P 500 index climbed to 2,351.16 points on Friday, adding 1.5 percent for the week. At the industry level, almost all sub-indices increased during the period from 13th to 17th of February. The period of financial feeling is coming to an end. Investors expect details on Donald Trump's proposed economic policies. Earlier, investors' optimism around Trump's tax reform and massive fiscal stimulus pushed U.S. stocks to all-time highs. Besides, investors locked in profits ahead of the long weekend as the U.S. stock market was closed for President's Day on Monday. The economic calendar lacked any statistics on Friday. A few reports of minor importance hardly made an impact on financial markets. Kraft Heinz shares rocked by 5.2% on Friday session after Kraft and Unilever, a multinational consumer goods company, had rejected its initial merger offer worth 143 billion US dollars. Kraft Heinz also announced that the talks were still going on. Unilever's shares surged by 11.3% at the London Stock Exchange, while the New York traded ADR shares jumped by 10.7%. Among other stock movers were United Health Group shares, which dropped by 3.68%. The U.S. largest health insurance company is being sued by the U.S. Justice Department. United Health Group is accused of overcharging its services under the Medicare Advantage program for many years. You have watched the weekly stock market review prepared for you by InstaForex TV channel. Good luck!